Hey guys, Timmy D with DroneMappingTools.com and in today's video we're going to walk through the DJI Pilot 2 app and how to change your starting point. So if you look at the screen here, you can see the start point down in the bottom left and I'm just sharing my um, remote controller so unfortunately I don't have a mouse but you can see the start point down in the bottom left hand corner. Now when I say change your starting point I really should clarify that I'm going to show you what you need to do to have the starting point in the correct location because DJI put the A-Team on their drone development, but they brought in the JV and most likely the junior high team to do development on the Pilot 2. There are multiple deficiencies in the app. And you just have to learn to uh, work around them. But the biggest one is doing your flight planning missions. And so um, there's really no third-party apps that work well. Now, you can use UGCS and then export out a um, waypoint file. But DJI ought to simply fix this app so that it is comparable to all the other autonomous planning missions um, apps on the market. Anyway, so let's, uh, without further ado, let's, let me swap over. Okay, so this is the ball field, okay? We're wanting to bring in something around this ball field. This is what we want to capture. So first, I'm going to go over laying this out manually. And so let's go back to the controller, and I'm going to go back, and here we are. So we're going to create a route, okay? And I'm going to create a waypoint. And we're going to go back up to the ball field. Bear with me. I'm moving. All right, here's the ball field. So when you create a, 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 a layout from scratch, you just click on the screen. So I'm going to do that now. It's going to put the, the box. What you need to know is that wherever that blue dot is, the one in the top left corner, that is your starting point. You can move that dot, move it around, but that's it. So wherever that dot is, and if you delete it, I haven't done a lot of testing to see, okay, well, if I delete the dot, is it gonna be the next one clockwise, counterclockwise? I just have to spend more time playing with it, and quite frankly, I don't have time. But what I'm gonna show you is that, let's say I want the starting point, um, well, actually, let me just show you this. We're going to bring this out, so just remember, Right there at that intersection, that's where that's where the original dot was. Okay, so I'm going to take and just drag these up, kind of come up. We're just going to go around that to be perfect. I just want to kind of show you. Okay, come down here. All right, so here we have, and let's say I, I wanted it to start in the bottom the bottom corner and work my way back up north. So when I come over, I need to pick my camera, which is the Mavic 3 wide. Okay. Close that and save. Okay. So the starting point is up there in the top left corner. But let's say I had a specific reason that I want to fly east to west instead of north and south. Um, often will be the case when you have a long... Um, narrow north to south narrow mission you will work your way either from north to south or south to north so i mean there's just different reasons why you'd want to do that so let's go ahead and edit this and we're going to come down to our um, course angle change that to 90 90 hit okay and let's close that again now it actually did take it up at the top so that is um that's kind of actually unusual. A lot of times it'll start it right where that blue point is at. And from there, it'll, uh, so I'm gonna drag that out just a little bit. Oop, let's go back. Another thing I wish is that you could, you could change your course angle. Now I had it already set to 90. Save it. Let's go back. So see, it does goofy stuff like this. So I know course angle, I want it to be 90. Now, it when I had when I altered that design just a little bit where it went out, now it is going to start this mission in the middle. Okay. And 
That is not what you want. What it's going to do, it's going to fly the whole entire, it's going to start right there. It's going to work its way all the way down to the bottom. Then it's going to come all the way back up and then work, work from there and work back up again. Okay. Well, here's what happens. If this is a small mission, it's not a big deal. Ah, come on. And see, even though the course angle is set to 90, it will it, it is not adjusting on the screen. And I've seen this happen quite quite often where it's it's not adjusting. And so I'm gonna hit 90. There, now it is. All right, let's close that out. Um but when you have the, if it's a small area, it's not as big of a deal as it is when you're doing a very large area. Of course, a very large area, you may not be using the Mavic 3, but this same problem happens on the M300. And it will happen on the M30 as well, even though I've never, I don't own that one. But in this case, look, it's going to fly all the way down, come back up. Well, you know what happens? The sun moves. So now you got some shadow changes right along those images where when you're just flying back and forth, it's such a small um, shadow change that it doesn't really it doesn't matter and in some cases even going all the way to the bottom and then coming back up to fly that it still may not matter but this should not happen this is a programming flaw in DJI Pilot 2 and um, again their, their JV team just apparently doesn't know how to fix it you cannot um, change the starting point. You can't just drag up to a certain point and say, I want to start here. Um, when you're flying the mission, you cannot start at a certain waypoint. Another very big problem from time to time. Um, it would just be very nice if you got ready to start the mission, you're going to reset it, and you say, I want to start at waypoint 42 or 17. And there's multiple reasons why that can happen, but you cannot do it in Pilot 2. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get out of here. Um, mission not saved. Exit. So you saw that that's where... Actually, let me go back in and mapping. Let's go back up. And real quickly, I'm just going to demonstrate, okay, well, what if I do want it to be in the, in the bottom corner? So now, actually, let me go ahead and set my camera. Mavic 3E wide. Okay, well, let's say I knew that I want my point, this one, this is the original point. So let's say I knew I wanted it to be at the far south because I want to start at the south and I want to work my way up to the north. Okay, I just know that is my, that is my mission. Okay, uh, let's get that there, here. All right, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's probably close enough. Bring you down. All right, and so you can already see that the, the starting point is very close to this bottom point. It will not always be exact, but it's going to be it's going to be close. So let's save it, and you see that it's it's splitting it. But what I want to do is I'm gonna I wanted to, I knew laying this out. I want to fly east to west. So let's go ahead and edit this. Go back to the angle. 90 degrees, and now, this time, it started at that very bottom point, and it's going to go east to west, west to east. Well, this is east to west starting, good. And it's going to work its way all the way back up to the north. So that's, that's what we wanted, and so you have to drag that blue dot around to be where you know the starting point should be because it will always center around that point Somewhere it's going to be very close, and if you know the direction you're going to be flying, then you can achieve the results you want by having that thought process as you uh, lay it out. Okay, so let's exit out. Now we're going to import the KML, and again, I'm going to. This is the KML we're going to import. Okay, when you import a KML, the point that is going to be the takeoff point, the starting point for your mission, is going to be the very last point of the KML. And so in this case right here, let's go to properties. Okay, you see that See that point right there? Okay, that is, that's the last point. And this particular KML, this one, this is, this is my first one, this is the last. I just went around clockwise. 
If a customer sends you a KML file, you have no idea where they started and stopped, I would just redraw because once you look at it and you go, okay, I think this is how I'm gonna to wanna to fly this mission, then you wanna draw it with the starting point of your flight in mind and make that your last point of the KML. So in this case, it is right here. Now, what it really, if I'm gonna do the same thing we did before, I would have wanted my starting point to be down here so I could start fly east to west and work my way all the way back up to the top, okay? But let's just say it is it is this point, not say it is, and if a customer sent you this file, I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen when we import it. So let's switch back over to our controller. Now let's bring in the Mavic 11 KML and let's click on it right here. And you see the starting point is going to be right there where that last point is in the KML. Now let's say, oh, well, I knew that I had a reason I wanted to fly east to west. So let's change that back to 90. See? And look what happens. It splits it, right? So now it's doing just what we did before. It's going to fly the whole mission and then come back down and fly the southern tip last. Um, just unbelievable on DJI's part. So what would need to have happened right where those crosshairs are, that needed to be my last point in the KML. And then the starting point for the mission would be right down here. And I would be able to fly it exactly the way I want. So you cannot, absolutely cannot change your starting point on the fly. And even if you have a KML and you start trying to edit points, um, you're just, um, you're peeing in the wind on that. It is not gonna happen. You'll, you'll just waste so much time. The best thing to do is always lay out your KML in Google Earth. If a customer sends it to you, just do your own with the last point being your desired starting point for flight and you will be a very happy camper. I hope this has been beneficial. There are no doubt some uh, other shortcomings in the in the Pilot 2 app, but knowing this little workaround will save you a lot of headaches. Um, there is no reversing the flight. In other words, you can't have it starting at the bottom and say, oh, well, I wanna just reverse it and start at the top. It's not gonna happen, doesn't happen. So maybe, DJI will do an update later in the who knows when. They probably won't, but if they do, I'll do an updated video and let you know that things have changed and the A-team watched this video and told the, the JV to get out of the way and let's, uh, let's fix it right. As a matter of fact, I'll put a list of shortcomings and I hope you guys will add a list of shortcomings that you have come across in the DJI Pilot 2 so that we can send it to DJI and say, guys, you're almost there. You're 80% there. Can the A-team please step in and do the other 20% and make this the most awesome autonomous flying app out there on the market? Because they could make it that way if they would just listen and uh, get the JV out of there. All right. Take care. We'll see you in the next video.